Okay, so I wanted to show off our press box. Uh, we had this built uh, this year, replaced the field, and this was installed uh, this summer just in time for soccer, but everything kind of wasn't finished until um, middle of the soccer season and, and up till uh, just recently some of, the, some of the stuff's been finished. So you can see it's wrapped pretty nice. Uh, let's take a look inside. So this is the inside. It's not huge, but it's plenty of room for what we need. Um, we've got heating and, and air conditioning. Um, for a lacrosse game, um, it'll get a little tight on here, but uh, there's there's still uh, plenty of room for people to move around. And um, you can see we've got this this dual channel that wraps around. Uh, the bottom channel is for power, so there are power outlets uh, for everywhere. There are also the power outlets underneath, and so anything permanent is plugged into those, and uh, anything that we need to plug in day of can just get plugged in right to there. Um, network and data. Um, you can see we've got um, some audio jacks. There's a mic. Uh, input and output basically so I can plug in a mic here and I can also get output there what we'll probably end up doing is plugging a little speaker so that we can hear uh, what's being played um, a lot of times uh, if we play some music because uh, the doors and the insulation you sometimes can't tell whether or not it's actually going out so we'll probably put a little tiny speaker in there just to give a little bit of feedback we've got our stat station uh, printer, printer's all it's all networked, so that will just stay out here, and uh, we can just bring a laptop, plug it in, and uh, we're good to go. Got our streaming computer. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, uh, this computer is super old, and it's hanging on by a thread. But uh, I think it will uh, get uh, get the job done for at least for now. Um, you can see here some of the connections. Um, back there we've got SDI 1 and 2, those go up to the roof, um, our network, and this USB AllSport is, will connect this computer to our AllSport controller so we can get live data from the controller onto our uh, broadcast. Uh, there's another set of audio ports, input and output. Uh, these actually are just uh, direct lines, they go up to the roof and those are for comms and uh, talk back so we can so I have this little mixer here basically I have a, a mic in for myself or the director and the mic in this little thing just goes up to the roof and then there's the headphone so this little headphone amp and this headphone goes up to the roof and so uh, on the roof we can just plug in a, a either just a single headset or just a headset of headphones or we can also plug in a, a, a full uh, full headset with mic and headphones so that uh, we can have full uh, duplex comms with who's running the camera. Um, and this is the mixer for play-by-play. Uh, -play. It's way overkill for what we need, um, but because we have baseball and softball, uh, this was the mixer we had left, so this is uh, what we're using. Um, and you can see another set of inputs and outputs, a mic and an output. And so right now I've got the output going into here so we can pump the PA system into the broadcast if we don't have uh, broadcasters. We also, there's a mic over here um, because at least, at least once during soccer, I don't know if it would work during lacrosse, is our play-by-play -play person was also doing PA. And so what we could do is uh, we could set everything over here, and he'd do the play the play by play. And any time he wanted to do a PA read, he would just flip a switch, and then that audio would go over both the broadcast and the PA. Uh, this is kind of the the network center, the heart and soul, our audio system. We've got this this Denon. Uh, matrix switcher which is actually super nice because we can do all kinds of fancy fancy things with I inputs and outputs and um, you know one of the things I talked about before is adding a, a set of speakers over there um, well if we did that we would not want the speakers we would not want the the microphone there to come out of the speakers otherwise you get feedback 
Well, what this mixer would allow us to do is just have a separate output channel that just outputs uh, the computer audio and not the not the mic, and so we would we could monitor what we needed to and not get feedback. We got wireless, two sets of wireless mics, um, just in case we actually don't really use them. We've got uh, one handheld and one uh, lab mic set up, and I okay, see this is the headset for the roof, and I'll show you that in just a second. You can see there's a ladder to go to the roof. Just climb up there and we'll uh, let's head up there and take a look up there. So this is the roof of the press box. Plenty of room for what we need. We just have one camera, but we could probably even have three up here if we needed to for some reason. Uh, plenty of room. So this box right here is our input and output box. And you can see we've got two network jacks up here. Uh, not using them right now, but uh, it was network cable is cheap, so we ran those while we were running everything else. And if at some point we wanted to, you know, add some NDI inputs or anything like that, uh, we could do it because uh, we're, we got network up here. We got the two SDI, these, these just came out, come out behind the streaming computer that you saw before. And we have, these are the COM inputs, and again, those just come out right by the streaming computer. It's just a straight cable from there to here. And so we can just plug in, uh, we can plug in a headset here, and we'll have comms. So this is what, this cable right here is what makes things kind of simple. It's just a, it's just a Siamese cable, it's got power and, and SDI. So we plug that cable in, and over here under our camera, we've got power and SDI. So super simple setup, just one. Um, one cable and we are up and running as far as the the camera goes i've got a super clamp and a three-way head the three-way head does two things one that lets me uh, make sure that the, the the fluid head is level um, and it also gives me another couple inches of height with this setup you've got the the manfrotto fluid head uh, with a set of rails and the camera and the monitor and so it's a super super nice setup for um, to, to follow sports like lacrosse or soccer and one of the things I've done with the with the rail setup is I have these are our two our two inputs on the camera that are outputs rather HDMI and SDI and I've got the HDMI going out to the monitor and then a pass through and the monitor coming out down here. And what this, what this lets me do is uh, not have my primary connection be actually on the camera. And I've got the same thing with, with the SDI cable, it comes right here. And so we can just unplug and plug in right here with these connections. And if something goes bad because you're, we're constantly plugging and unplugging, it's gonna be on these cables, not something on the camera. Uh, if this if this one of these connectors went bad on the camera, I got to replace the whole camera. If one of these connectors go bad, I just replace this cable and I'm back up and running pretty quick. So that's our setup. Um, I think it's pretty pretty neat setup. We still got uh, a couple things to work on for the most part. Uh, we're uh, we're ready to go and uh, it, it's going to be make things super simple for uh, for lacrosse.